Yeah. Nice time. And then there were there were several of you that actually made more than one attempt. Would it surprise you to know who do you think made the most efforts or most attempts to contact me when I wasn't answering? Nolan, yeah, Wayne, which is interesting because you have one of the guys that's been the most successful in this company and probably one of the guys that needs the another commission or another sale the least was the person that was the most relentless in their effort to make contact with me. He made six attempts so far and he's probably still calling. <laughs> Here's what we did with you guys. <clears throat> 17 cent, 17 answered. Phenomenal in terms of response rate and in fact most of you answered within two or three hours. Significantly better than most other companies that I've done similar tests with. One of you in five minutes, second at like two, two emails or calls. So this could be email, call, or text, and I track which one. Again, I'm happy to go through the individual ones with you guys. Uh, six of you, three, four of you made three efforts. Five of you actually made four attempts, which is much, much better than most companies. And then one made a uh, fifth attempt, nobody made more than six. So what do you guys think about those? Those numbers, All right? Some room for improvement in terms of being relentless in our follow-up, yeah? And take advantage of technology. And this is a, a, a fine line that we walk because what we don't wanna do, so many companies now, we had a conversation this morning about AI and different things, and there's so many companies now that are leaning 100%. They're putting all their eggs in the technology basket. And I'm talking about customer-facing companies specifically. And what they're doing for me, it's just building walls or creating layers or barriers to get to a live agent or a live salesperson. If I went, try getting a hold of somebody that had an issue with Aerosmith canceling their concert for like the third time I was supposed to go see him, and try and getting a hold of, of a live person at Ticketmaster, I still have no idea how you do it, or Amazon, or any of these big companies, right? You're, it's impossible, you have to dig and get on Reddit and do all kinds of things to try and find a phone number. So. I like to focus on that marriage between high tech and high touch. Don't lean on technology as a crutch and don't use technology to create barriers where you don't have to have a face-to-face -face or a person-to-person -person conversation with the customer. Use it as a tool to create more meaningful human interaction. Use technology as a way to get down to a five minute response time, but always Leave that high touch ability in there. Always give the customer a way to contact you or contact a live person. And I think this is some of the things where here at Housemax, where I think what, what Jeff and Alex and Ronnie and the team are working on are, are ways to use technology to make it easier to connect you guys with your customers and ideally earn more commissions in the process. And then return the favor. And I'm talking specifically about your company. And this is something that's not, that's not unique to House Max. I have this slide in the presentation with every company I work with. And I mentioned earlier in the presentation that there's a significant amount of money spent on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis to provide you guys with leads. In fact, Ryan, I know we've, we've mentioned this before. How many a day? At 200 a pop, do the math, because it's, what is that, five grand a day? <laughs> I'm terrible at math. So I, I want you to ask yourself this. If, who got, who got how many leads today? Anybody get like three or four leads today? Leo, you got four, how many today so far? Oh, just about three or four. Okay, if you, and Mr. Six Minute Response, if, if you had to come in this morning and said, I want four leads, and in order to get those four leads, you had to put $800 cash down on the table. And if each and every one of you had to do the same thing. So if you wanted two leads, you had to put $400 cash down. And if you wanted five, you had to put $1,000 cash down. And you had to do that every day. Do you think, and ask yourselves honestly, do you think you would approach your lead response plan differently? Do you think you would approach how you follow up relentlessly how often and the frequency with your customers, do you think you would approach those differently, right? 99% of the people that I work with answer yes to that question. If you're the 1%, you're an exception to the rule and I would love to sit down with you and pick your brain. And we've all got room for improvement, guys. Again, it doesn't matter if we're the top salesperson in the company. I guarantee you, 
every, and I'm guilty of this in my career, every single one of us can improve on lead response time and on how relentless we are with our follow-up. We've got an obligation to ourselves. Right? We've got our financial stake in this personally, but we've got an obligation to the company that we work for to make sure that we're doing everything that we can to convert that lead into a sale. And that's 